morning guys, half past three, all loaded up, uh, we're setting off for Scotland, we're going to stop off today about, do about 285 miles and stop off in the Lake District, so that'll be our first stop, before we set off early, get on the road, miss all the traffic and get a great start. arrived in the Lake District so we're just gonna look for somewhere to uh, pitch up for the night nice drive sun's out gorgeous loving the stone walls so we're in Shap Lake District We've pulled over now guys and uh, pitched up, we've got a nice little beach area, you've seen the, the rooftop tent and the landy where that is, so we've just come down a little hill and we're sitting by the uh, the reservoir, so this is really stunning, sun shining, it's been showering earlier, we had a little sleep in the rooftop tent as we, we were up at 2 o'clock, so I feel really refreshed now and just enjoying the, the Lake District air. Mrs. Bushwhacker's enjoying herself. We're in the scenery, Ange. It's alright, isn't it? <laughs> I thought you were beautiful, but now I've seen this. <laughs> Likewise, eh? Stunning, isn't it? Feels small here. And this is only the start of it. Yeah. Pulled off guys, let's go have a coffee, beautiful location and uh, we got about 50 miles we're in Inverness so our trip will start, North Coast 500, oh, this is absolutely stunning here, we're in the Ken Gorms area, those are mountains and beautiful scenes and waterfalls and that so really enjoying it so far and then we're going to have a stop off at Inverness, have a look around there which we'll show you. We're going to start, go to the castle and then uh, head west from there and enjoy some more beautiful scenery.
Hi guys, so we're here in Venice, just outside the castle, start of the North Coast 500. So a great trip up and this place is stunning. So this is the start of it at the castle, my castle. And then we're going to carry on from here, heading west. And I'll show you some of the views around Inverness and looking down the River Ness. So we pulled over now guys and we reside in next to a lake which is really nice. Went down a nice little country road near uh, Rogi Falls which we're going to visit maybe tomorrow or the next day. So we pulled up here, Mrs Bushwhacker's just sorting out bits and pieces. So what an amazing drive we've had, 577 miles to Inverness, you see the castle, yes please, you see the castle. So we've left the castle, we've gone about 15 miles out of Inverness and we've landed up here so we're going to spend one or two nights here just to chill out a bit, we've done a lot of driving, a beautiful location, we're going to have a bit of a cook up now, so we're uh, quite peckish. Beautiful, I can't believe I'm in Scotland. Finally here, with all the gear. That rhymes. So I just finished me fishing guys, didn't catch nothing, it's a lovely lock, so we're going to spend one more night here, maybe have a fire tonight, <coughs> and uh, earlier we went for a walk, there's a lovely forest track as well, so we went down there, had a look, I was tempted to put the landy down there, but might just chill out here today, Mrs Bushwhacker's reading, and I'll be doing a bit of, uh, a bit of fishing. The weather's absolutely stunning today. Rained this morning and last night, but it's cleared up lovely. It's about 16 degrees. So tomorrow will be Rogi Falls, I think. Have a look around there. And then uh, probably stop at Garve. We're going to do Inverness to Garve. So yeah, 
can't be bad. Rogie Falls now, we're just starting the trail. I'm going to carry on down here and we'll show you uh, the falls when we get there. Hopefully we might see some leaping salmon. Right, lovely headers, look at them. Stunning landscape. Lovely isn't it? Gorgeous. Seen loads of old man's beard, heathers, mushrooms, got everything up here. What a stunning woodland. So approaching the River Blackwater. So we passed Garth, Montalot, Carrion. Look at our stunning scenery through here. It's really quiet, the roads have gone really quiet. So I met a lovely girl called Nelika. Hi. <laughs> She's doing the tour in Scotland on her bike, so she's got all the gear. How long are you spending? So far, three weeks. Three weeks so and, far. Uh, probably I will stay a couple of weeks or months and then go off to somewhere else. Awesome. And she sold all her possessions and she's hitting the road, very inspiring. And you're completely solo as well, aren't you? Yeah. Awesome. So you've got everything on board. How much does a yeah. bike weigh in at? 
Oh, I don't want to know. <laughs> Heavy. Probably, probably 40, 40 kilograms. 40 k kgs. Yeah, just complete. Yeah, something like it. So Up and down heavy. these mountains. <laughs> oh, yeah. So all foods on board as well, is it? Yeah. Apart yes. from fish and chips last night. <laughs> it was more a snack. I need the calories. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, good luck to you, and we'll Thank see you on the travels because you're going the same same route as us through the Apple oh, Cross. Okay. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Thank you, and you. You take care. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. So we're going to stay another night a lot carrying. There's Mrs. Bushwhacker. Really rained a lot last night. So we're going to stay here, dry things out, and then move on tomorrow over to Apple Cross. Right guys, great morning, sun's out at last, everything's drying off. We packed up, so we're gonna head to Apple Cross, say goodbye to Lot Karen, and uh, carry on trucking. It's lovely, I realise how you appreciate sunshine. We've had you know a lot of rain. It's stunning this morning, so clear. So pretty much all done. Just got the Oz tent to, to put away. It's drying the ground sheet out. Bits and pieces. So a lovely two days here. Charge the batteries. It's going to be clear as anything. The guy I was talking to said if I can see the mountains in the distance there clearly, then I'll be able to see really clear over Apple Cross Pass. So that's going to be uh, quite spectacular. So, onwards and upwards. So we're gonna start Balak Nabar soon. We're gonna do a left off of this road. And even more spectacular scenery to come. Oh, blown away guys with this, this is stunning. Every corner we turn, something spectacular. So if you live in the UK, definitely pay this a visit. And we got perfect weather for it and all. Pizza bike challenge. Split speed. Should have bought my own sticker, guys. Bushmacker man was here. This is the start of the pass, Balak Nabar. I'm really looking forward to this.
Coming down now off of uh, Apple Cross Pass. That's Lop Torridon. Is it? So we've arrived at Lock Damp, all set up, had a great day. This is probably our best scenic day today. Across the Apple Cross and uh, Torridon Lock, which is absolutely amazing. So we've got the Oz tent out, rooftop tent. Mrs. Bushwhacker's doing, what are you doing tonight, Ange? Sandwich. Toasted cheese sandwiches. That's what we got tonight. We got some and bread from the shop earlier. A cup of soup. And a cup of soup. I think how long we've been driving? Five hours? Yeah. But how many miles have we done? 30. 30. 36. 36 miles in five hours. So we took it really steady. I'm really enjoying taking it nice and easy. Just stopping off and looking at what we, what we want to look at rather than rushing. What a place this is. So hopefully we might see either a stag or a golden eagle. That's that's on my 
bucket list so hopefully we'll see one yeah the cows oh highland cow yeah beautiful animal they, they are rugged what a coat you're going to buy a coat that's the coat to buy the one they're wearing but what a landscape mountains and the and the and the locks and this lock here is so crystal clear and i'm really really enjoying it and it's what's it our sixth day and it feels like we've been away a couple of weeks doesn't it but we took it nice and steady i think that's the key to it when i was you know when i was younger we just we tend to rush everything but i think we've been the slowest vehicle on the road i can't believe where we are but what a view that we got tomorrow morning waking up to that we should have bought the boat. yeah yeah, there's always the next time, but what a day. It's been, you know, on and off drizzle, and, and how lucky we were going across Applecross Pass, having that clear. It's crystal clear, so much vision across the mountains. You look silhouetted there. Hey. You look like a little silhouette. A little. Uh, Lock Marie guys We've pulled up here Let's have a look it's one of Scotland's prettiest locks in my opinion they're all pretty So that's our route so far guys and I've marked down where we've stayed that was our first stop after Inverness and we carried on down and then we stopped off there for two nights that was a campsite there called the Wee Campsite. That was at Loch Garren. Then we carried on and headed north. No we didn't, no we carried on, then we went done went done Apple Cross. Beautiful there. Then we had lunch at Fernmore. 
which was really nice. And then carried on. This is Western Ross Glen Torridon, which you see today. And then we went up to. Oh, we got it. Then we went up to Loch Marie, which is meant to be the, one of the most stunning locks in Scotland. And then we've landed up there, that's where we're staying tonight. Just right at the top of, of Loch Marie. So that's really, really lovely place. So this is our setup. had a walk up there earlier which was really nice and down to the right which I'll show you tomorrow is a lovely stream so I sat down there for a little bit and Loch Marie is just down there I'm gonna walk down there as well tomorrow might spend a couple of nights here chill out I think I see a couple of eagles earlier a couple of birds were soaring up really high had the binoculars out I can capture it on uh, on film, so I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for that. Keep the camcorder at the ready. And last night I heard a, a stag moaning. It was about half past two, so I got out with the torch, but couldn't see nothing. It was just at uh, too much range for my beam and my torch. But no, it's been. Uh, been great so far really enjoying myself really chilled out now but this uh, west coast great scenery really great since uh, apple cross it's it hasn't let up the scenery so if you're thinking of giving it a go definitely the west coast for me so far it's stunning unbelievable mountain after mountain stream after stream lock after lock Wash day today guys, washed all and our midge clothes day. and midge day, we've been swarmed by the midges, I don't know if you can see them but there's a, there's not thousands but there's a few, so we've both, uh, both got our head nets on, for a tiny little uh, creature it creates a lot of havoc <laughs> especially if you're not used to them but yeah we've had a swarm we had them two warm days and then it rained last night and they're just they're out in force so at least we got the head nets it's another good thing we bought I'm sure I've got about 10 underneath this net and all <laughs> yeah how are you find it then Ange so we just washed our clothes keep on top of it, they were all mounting up so it's perfect time. Just let them dry off and then we've got some fresh clothes for the rest of the trip. Whew. Smidge that midge. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm walking up the hill now guys, I'm going to show you the uh, place where we're staying. This is our second day here, it's been a bit, uh, a bit grim today, so we kind of hunkered down and done a bit of drawing, a bit of reading today, so it's just finally cleared so I thought I'd come out with a camcorder. It's that lovely little river back there, that's really stunning, <laughs> running through right where we're staying. I'll show you the view from up here in the lock, hopefully we can see it. So that's the beautiful Lock Marie. The 
The old landy looks a bit insignificant there. Heading further north to Ullapool, beautiful scenery, a lot of beach views today, so it'd be nice. There's meant to be a storm coming in as well. We have to find somewhere uh, quite sheltered. Probably definitely not put the rooftop tent up. No, let's see how we go. It's meant to be coming in about two o'clock. We just stopped at a shop and some kind lady give Mrs. Bushwhacker the nod. So see what happens. Just pulled over guys, seen the girl I met at the campsite, she's ahead of us by the way, that's how slow we're taking it. Hiya! Hey. <laughs> I thought I recognised you. How are you doing? Yeah, you're ahead of us. Sorry? You're ahead of us. Yeah. That's how slow we've been taking it. I thought I recognised your bags. Ah, yeah, the yellow Storm bag. Storm coming tonight. Really? Yeah. Oh. Meant to that's, be. That's why. That's what they said quiet. at the shop. They said this is the calm before the storm. Yeah, it must be then because there's just no wind at all. Wow. Just... How are you getting on? Good. Yeah. You didn't yeah. go across Apple Cross, did you? Did you? I go... did. What you done the whole Apple Cross pass? Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah, I had to stop, but I didn't have to push. So, that's Blimey. impressive, but, yeah. done the whole How many cross. miles are you doing a day then? I just, I just Are you go. doing the whole 500? Uh, no, just parts. Yeah. Just because I just make my own way. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, How are you feeling? Legs don't ache? No, it's not too bad. <laughs> <It's> no. <tight. laughs> I even went up on the mountain in Torridon. Where have you been staying? Campsites so. or? Wild most camping. of the time, yeah. Uh, no, well, just wild camping most of the time. Mm. And just in Torridon, a hostel. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. It's stunning today, though, isn't it? Uh, yesterday. Yes. Did you cycle yesterday? Yeah. Oh. You know that rain? Yeah, I just cycled for hours and just at six or something, I was thinking, well, now I'm done, I'm hungry. So I pitched my tent. But oh, there were so many midges because yeah. there was no wind. Yeah. We, we got attacked, there was didn't we? no wind, and I was, <laughs> I was thinking, oh no, I really have to learn where to pitch my tent with the midges because I thought that it was a good place, just yeah. a windy place. But I think just there was no wind anywhere. Uh, so, it was quite calm. Yeah, we got yeah. we got attacked, and yeah. we? we had our head nets on. Yeah. They were driving me mad. Oh yeah, driving me they mad. Do. They just eating me. Yeah, my legs. Are Bike's still looking good. Isn't it? It's a nice bike. Is it a steel frame? It is, isn't it? It is. Yeah. yeah. Tough bike. Yeah, yes. you're doing really well. Ahead of us. Look at that. Quicker on a yeah. bike. <laughs> quicker on the bike than it is in oh, a car. Oh no, you passed me now. <laughs> yeah. But I yeah. spent it two days in Jordan. So you did. Yeah. And you've still got this far. <laughs> yeah. We must be going really steady. Yeah. Yeah, this is our tenth, tenth day, isn't it? Spot I had before Torridon. Oh, yeah, that looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't turn. Yeah. Oh. And 
this was in the morning. Wait, what lock's that? Um, I think it's the Upper West Jordan or something. Not Lock Marie. Is that Lock Marie? Could be. Oh, I think so. Before yeah. she left. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? And we might maybe see, see you in Yeah, Liverpool. we might see you. Yeah. Is we're gonna there a fish good and place chips. for fish and chips? Yeah. I've, well, I've got the book and it says fish and chips in Ullapool are really nice. So we're going to okay. treat ourselves. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Excellent. Right, you take care. Yeah, Paul, thanks, your hands you are too. cold. <laughs> yeah, but that's normal. Yeah. Even when it's Fill our hands, Angel. Cold our hands. See ya. Oh. <laughs> yeah, have you got no gloves? It's, it's no, but that's a family thing. They're always cold. Yeah. yeah. Just cold hands jeans. warm up. <laughs> yes. Yes. I hope so at least. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you have to in this. Excellent. Well, see you, you in the pool then, maybe. Yeah, see Fish you in the pool. <laughs> see you. See you. Bye. Bye. So we're continuing on the the A835 to Ullapool. I think we've got about 15 more miles to go. But the scenery is just don't let up, it's stunning. We're looking keeping our eye out for stags. So we've arrived at Ullapool now, let's go have a look round, all the nice shops, nice little quaint fishing village. We're about 15 miles north of Ullapool. We set up on this beach area and we're bracing the elements for the storm. There's going to be a big storm coming in, so I've lashed everything down, put the landy facing south southwest to give us a better shade or shelter, should I say, from the wind. So we just got a ride tonight out, I think. So that's our view. Then it's not sunny but we're on a on a campsite staying here tonight so we've got all the facilities probably have a shower and sort of bits and pieces out but we're right <coughs> we're right on the uh, edge of the peninsula here so hopefully we'll be okay with this wind coming in oh, the thunder. <laughs> <laughs> what a view and a nice beer to finish the day can't say better than that. 